good day today uh, I talk about solar radiation prediction using machine learning techniques my name is Richard Alexander Frito del Forero from the uh, Fundación Universitaria de Libertadores uh, from the electronic engineering program uh, the tutor in charge of this work is Alejandro Caicedo Villalobos uh, so we'll start uh, first uh, we present uh, some data that's important uh, for for the development of this work. Solar energy is the main source of renewable energy in in the earth. Uh, this one uh, captures roughly uh, 1.6 million uh, uh, kilowatts uh, per hour. In recent years, the use of solar, of solar photovoltaic systems. Uh, has increased in 2019, so it's a 24% increase over the uh, 2018. Uh, the design of solar photovoltaic systems is related to the climatic conditions uh, of the of the site where it will be still. Uh, so uh, it's important have a, a database with uh, that provide the genetic information uh, that uh, uh, this uh, this information uh, are not accessible to to everyone. Uh, with this work, we propose a free database such uh, as the NASA's power viewer uh, for for obtaining this uh, information in this order uh, for the uh, for this data to be used uh, the error in the measurement of solar radiation taken by the satellite and recorded uh, in the database uh, must be reduced our objective with this work is create a tool that allows using a satellite meteorologic data to obtain an estimate of the baseboard to the solar results, uh, reducing the error between the uh, satellite data and the data uh, measured in land. Our, uh, our goal is replicate the land uh, than measurement with a forecasting model. In the research uh, delimitation uh, is present in this in this image. Uh, so we use the uh, Olaya Herrera Airport uh, meteorologic, meteorologic station uh, data from IDEAM that is located in uh, Medellin. In um, in the time of um, December fourth, uh, from two thousand fourteen and December four to two thousand fifteen. Uh, so we present uh, we uh, present the results uh, in this uh, image. So uh, in the left side of the screen we have the average daily radiation data in the first period of a uh, four month in a year. Uh, so uh, the dotted blue line uh, represents the forecasting data of our model and the red and the solid red line is the land data that is our role. In the left in the right side of the screen we have the normal distribution uh, from this data and uh, uh, in this one uh, the blue line represent the um, the land data and the red line represent the forecasting data um, this one represent the uh, four month period number two uh, so 
this is the average data in the second period and this is the normal distribution in the second data in the second period sorry uh, the third the quarter number three is represent in this image the average daily radiation and normal distribution uh, so uh, in the table number one has the uh, data from uh, each each period uh, I, okay in the first uh, quarter has a difference between the land data and satellite data uh, from of the of a zero point zero six kilowatts per, per square meter and the second and the difference between uh, land and forecasting data is the uh, to uh, zero point twenty seven in the second uh, period has a difference between land and satellite data of a uh, 1.05 and a uh, land and forecasting data a uh, difference uh, of uh, 0 0.21 uh, kilowatts the um, in the third a uh, quarter has a different a uh, in the lat in the land data and satellite data of um, 0 0.62 and uh, uh, the difference uh, between the land data and forecasting data of uh, 0 0.70 uh, kilowatts now uh, we present the results of the error the, the comparison uh, ever uh, for each uh, quarter so uh, in this one has the uh, first quarter comparison this is the two quarter comparison and the third quarter comparison so uh, in this image, we have the uh, comparison of average error. Uh, so, in the first, in the first quarter, has the decrease of the of a uh, tier point eighty seven percent, and the second uh, quarter has a, a fifteen point seven sixteen. A decrease percent and the third quarter has a 10.26 percent decrease our model is the loss bed in a fourth stage that the first stage is opening and processing of land data IDEAN from IDEAN a second is opening and processing of the data provided to the power bill data bases. The, the third is data forecasting and fourth stage is results analysis. Uh, for the first stage uh, opening and processing of land data, uh, this data is contained on a CVAs file. Uh, so uh, reading uh, we read in this this file we in with a uh, pandas uh, library from Python, uh, so uh, up we apply a preprocess of the data uh, that is remote invalid information, and apply a moving uh, moving average filter uh, to uh, remove the invalid information that is not important from for the analysis. Uh, this uh, 
this stage uh, give us a, a daily accumulated uh, from for solar radiation. The second stage is the uh, opening and processing the power viewer data. This the this information uh, was contained in a NSF file and we use we use the um, the NetCF NetCF for a, a Python library. This metadata contain a different a climatic a variables you know, on a file. Uh, each variable is converted into a write with NumPy. Uh, this stage uh, give us a average daily values uh, that is solar radiation, rhythmic index, and temperature. The third, the third stage is the data forecasting. Uh, our uh, predictor variable is the satellite data, and the and our target variable is land data. Uh, we use uh, 70, 17 uh, percent uh, of data for training and 13 a person uh, for this. Uh, next, a uh, definition of the neural network type uh, shows, shows the training, the training parameters. Uh, the neural neural network training process and uh, give us a, a solar radiation predicted uh, by the model. Finally, uh, we 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 have the result analysis that is the comparison between uh, ground data and satellite data and the land data and forecast forecast data. Uh, this is the conclusion our for our work that uh, our model uh, proposed. Um, it has the uh, the has a error data, error rate of uh, twenty five point sixty one. Uh, that is is lower than the for uh, a fourteen point seventy five seventy four uh, percent taken by the satellite. The, this is a, a reduction of a uh, average decrease of a uh, 9.91 uh, percent um, the model management of captures the variable of the solar resource and maintain uh, a trend toward uh, uh, average derivative uh, this uh, we have obtained a uh, average error of a uh, roughly 216 uh, watts per square meter. Uh, that is lower than obtained with the satellite corresponding to uh, 581 uh, watts uh, per square meter. Uh, this is which is considered an improvement in the value of the solar radiation calculated using the purpose model. Uh, thank you.